Hi, uh, this is Dr. Mehrotra and it's extreme honor and pleasure to be standing with Dr. Paul, uh, who is one of the leaders on uh, advocating for newborn hearing screening. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us. And uh, I just wanted you to tell us why is newborn hearing screening so important for us? Uh, if there is a hearing loss, it should be detected before the age of uh, six months and should be remediated. So if you are able to do that, in majority of the cases, the child will have a near normal speech and language uh, uh, normal period, if provided the hearing loss is a mild, moderate, uh, even up to severe. In a profound hearing loss, the child may require a cochlear implant or this one. But if you uh, detect hearing loss, let's say at one or two years, the hearing aid will not help them. So they will definitely require a cochlear implant in most of the cases. And uh, when, a, when you've got a child with a speech delay, the first test which you should do is always hearing screening, because that is one of the preventable causes. And uh, never, you should never reassure the child, your child will talk later and you should not, should never waste time. And the incidence of hearing loss in the general population is about 1 to 2 per thousand. But whereas in a NICU or in a high risk babies, the incidence is about say 2 to 4 percent. And even in the NICU it can be up to 20 to 24 percent. If there is wow. a new, that's, neuronal, that's there a, a neuronal. huge number. That's and a huge uh, you know, a lot of the times I hear that, okay, he'll talk, he'll talk, he'll talk, just wait but it really could be a hearing issue, right? It's a That's a very, very dangerous statement. You should never uh, advise a parent, a child will start talking later without doing a proper assessment. Right. So should uh, what should parents look at as the first sign that maybe there might be a hearing problem? Uh, are there some red flags that the parents should say? No, uh, actually, if the child does not start talking at the age of one year, you should definitely have a hearing screening as a first test. I am sure most of the time it may be normal, but you should never miss a case. But uh, they, because the incidence is so high in a high-risk group, like say, birth weight less than 1,200 grams, or a jaundice requiring exchange transfusion, birth asphyxia, a baby in an issue requiring a ventilation, any family history of uh, hearing loss, some syndromes, abnormalities in the ear or nose or in the face, and uh, any autotoxic medications, uh, so all these things are high, uh, comes in the high risk group. In this group, the incidence is about uh, 2 to 4 percent or even up to 20 to 24 percent if there is an auditory neuropathy or, or it's an auditory dyssynchrony. So all the NICU babies should have a hearing screening compulsory. So if they can invest one or two crores for a NICU, they would invest uh, three, four lakhs, two, no, lakhs rupees for a hearing screening machine and uh, this one. Right. And uh, all NICU babies should have a bearer test also. Mm -hmm. The general population, you can uh, do a screening with the OIE machine, but all NICU should have a better test.